Hi friends, welcome to my channel, Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to solve this engineering mechanics problem. A system of parallel forces is acting on a rigid bar as shown in figure. You see this rigid bar. Reduce this system to single force. So single force means single resultant force. Second one is single resultant force and a couple at A. Couple means moment. Third is a single force and a couple at B. Single force means resultant force. And a couple at B means moment at B. First, we will find single force, single resultant force. What is resultant force formula? R is equal to root of summation of H, the whole square, plus summation of V, the whole square. This summation of H and summation of V, we will calculate as per this drawing. So, how we will find summation of H. Now we will solve this problem resolving all the forces horizontally. You see this question only vertical force is given. Horizontal force is not given. So horizontal force is not given means what we will do? Horizontal force is 0. Summation of F of X or summation of H is equal to 0. Next, resolving all the forces vertically. Summation of F of Y or summation of V is equal to. You see here, 4 forces is there. So, how we will take this one vertical? This direction is positive. You see this drawing, the arrow goes upward. Upward means positive plus 32.5. Next, you see the arrow goes down. Down means minus, minus 150. You see here, arrow goes up only positive. Down comes means negative. You see next one, D forces comes down. Down is minus 67.5. Next, arrow comes down. Down is minus minus 10. Summation of V is equal to minus 195 Newton. Next, we will find resultant force. Single force is the resultant force. R is equal to root of summation of H the whole square plus summation of V the whole square. Summation of H is 0 plus summation of V the whole square is minus 195 the whole square root. What answer R is equal to 195 Newton. This is downward direction. You see summation of V is negative. Negative is downward. Resultant is acting vertically downward. Now we will calculate second one. Single force and a couple at A. Single force means resultant force already calculated and a couple at A. Couple means moment. Summation of moment A. Moment clockwise is positive. Anticlockwise is negative. You see in this drawing A is here. So how we will calculate this one? First we will draw the circle. I will draw here circle. From here to here. Circle. Arrow comes clockwise. Comes this side right. See. So this is positive. Equal to 150 into this distance we will take. What is moment formula? Force into perpendicular distance into 1. Next, we will take this. Draw the circle here to here. From Start from here to here. Circle. Draw circle. You see arrow comes this side. So, this side means clockwise only comes. So, this is D. D also positive. Plus 67.5 into 
distance is perpendicular distance is this one so 2 into 2 perpendicular distance comes this side next we will see this arrow comes here draw the circle again you see here to here draw the circle so arrow is down it comes clockwise only B also clockwise positive plus 10 into what is the perpendicular distance calculate from here to here so 3.5 into 3.5 equal to 150 into 1 is 150 plus 67.5 into 2 is 135 plus 10 into 3.5 is 35 summation of m a is equal to 320 newton meter so this is positive positive means clockwise 195 newton force and 320 newton meter moment clockwise third one a single force and a couple at B. Single force means resultant force. Already calculated. This is the value. And a couple at B. Couple means moment. Summation of M, B. Clockwise is always positive. You see this drawing B is here. B force is 10 Newton. What is the perpendicular distance? Distance is 0. Next, we will go D. You draw here to here circle. So, this is the clockwise direction. I will draw down. So this is the clockwise direction. We will see here to here. So you see here you draw from here to here is clockwise. Here this arrow comes this side. So draw the circle. So the arrow goes this side. So this side means this is anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise is minus. So this is D. What is the distance? Distance is 1.5. Now perpendicular distance is here. In this case perpendicular distance comes here. So we will take this way. 1.5 equal to minus 67.5 into 1.5. Next from here to here only we will take a you see from here to here is goes clockwise so you see the perpendicular distance is comes here this side so we will take perpendicular distance this side so you see the arrow arrow comes anti clockwise you draw here the arrow comes this side this is anti clockwise this is c so minus 150 into what is the perpendicular distance from here to here 1 plus 1.5 2.5 into 2.5 next we will take this draw the circle you see this arrow goes up up means it comes this side so this side means clockwise so a is clockwise so plus 32.5 into what is the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance comes this side so calculate up to b that is 3.5 into 3.5 summation of mb is equal to minus 67.5 into 1.5 is minus 101.25 Minus 115 to 2.5 is 375 plus 32.5 into 3.5 is 113.75. Summation of MB is equal to minus 362.5 Newton meter. This is anti clockwise. Minus means anti-clockwise. Plus comes means clockwise. What is the answer? 
195 newton force and 362.5 newton meter moment anti clockwise thanks for watching this video